guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a friendly, helpful vermiculture community, you are in the right place. Today we're looking at the red wigglers, an update on my tower system. And last time, about four weeks ago, we picked out the big chunks on the top and then we fed a apple, a banana, and an onion and some chow. And this is what we are doing right now. So this up here is the foraging level, and I'm just gonna grab up any sort of shreds that they do not appear to want to eat before we do this. Now this is the part where we're going to harvest this particular place. So I'm not sure what, this must be coming up from the level below. So I'm gonna just pull that out because we are going to do a harvest today. And the way that you harvest the tower system is via aggravation method. I think some people call it agitation method, but uh, this is me and I like to aggravate people. So we're calling it the aggravation method. So what we do is we are going to pick out all of the larger stuff that's not harvesting and then fluff it up like that. And then the worms will dive down into the layer below. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now let's look at the layer below that was fed last time. Okay, and I was right. Whatever we fed them has sprouted. That might have been a tomato or something. So that part we just took off, that is going to be harvested and this will be the new foraging part of the bin. So they are not gonna get any large people food anymore. I am just going to give them uh, chow. So I'm going to fluff this up just to get out any of the big food chunks here. But then these guys are not, they're not going to get fed people food anymore. Okay, so we got a sticker and a chunk of a, a banana stem. That looks pretty good. I'm sure that they'll push things up to the top. But it's getting very nice and warm in the basement. It's actually, um, almost 80 degrees down here now. So that is probably where the European night crawlers are gonna be unhappy. But these are red wigglers and they're still gonna be fine at this temperature. We are going to go ahead and put these guys off to the side and we'll give them some chow when we reassemble the bin. On to the next layer. Now this layer has never had any people food whatsoever. Just bedding. So let's, you can see, they've already made such beautiful, beautiful castings. And uh, the red wigglers have managed to make only bedding into really beautiful castings. So I think with the increase in temperature, these guys are really, really moving fast right now. Okay, so even though this has never had people food before, this is going to become where we feed. The top tray is going off to be harvested. The second tray is going to be harvested next time. And this is gonna be the feeding tray now. Okay, so this layer has never had people food either. And it is just bedding. And it gets all the drippings from the food above. And then I think I gave it a little bit of water because it was really dry in the basement. That is not the case. It has been absolutely raining cats and dogs in here for like uh, two months. It's been crazy. Now this is not going to get any people food or chow. This is just gonna hang out on the bottom. This is the very bottom tray and you can tell there are worms down here and they are starting to make a little bit of castings but this is uh, inoculating, I believe is the word Patrick says. These are the inoculating trays that are just hanging out and getting all the good juices from up above and it's a little bit of water from me occasionally if I think it's too dry and that is fine. So what we are going to do is we're going to make a new inoculating tray. So one tray out, one tray comes back in. Okay, so this is the blank tray that is going to get the new bedding. Okay, that seems like a lot. However, 
this is going to be down here for a good long time and it is going to reduce a lot. So I'm going to put some of those risers in there because this will be at the very bottom and this is going to be supporting the weight of everything in the tower above it. So it's important that this layer has these little risers to kind of preserve the plastic a little bit longer. Okay, and then this is the, the previous bottom layer and it's going to get its risers. I'm not gonna do anything with this layer today. It's fine the way it is. This is the layer that also has never had any people food whatsoever. And then, oops, forgot the risers. Then this becomes the feeding tray now. This is actually the first time that this particular tray has ever been fed people food. Wild, right? It's been in there for about five months and they have made all those castings exclusively from the drippings above and the uh, cardboard and paper that I have been giving them. So what I am going to do today is they're going to get two bananas, previously frozen, and I'm gonna put those kind of in the, the corner pockets here. That way they have uh, quite a spread out area where they can all hang out in different places. Hopefully I'm gonna start seeing a little bit more breeding right now, which would make me very happy. That way we'll have more red wigglers. And then here is the final tray for today. This is the foraging tray. Now, unfortunately I'm, too much of a softy apparently and I can't just let them forage forage so they're gonna get a little bit of worm chow and that will help them finish off any of the bedding that's in here as well as any skins of uh, vegetables I'm just gonna mix that up really good it's not very much so it should be don't gone very very quickly so if you are interested in these towers or the red wigglers i have a whole playlist for them and i will link that right over there and if you've already seen that youtube thinks you're gonna like this over here all right guys thanks for hanging out with me and my worms all right here is the basement there are a few worms out there and i'm just gonna give them a little bit of damp cardboard bedding um, so that they will have something to live in in the event they decide that they want to live in the basement